Hi all, this is Master Muncher and welcome to another 1v1 Unifieds Battle episode to the channel. And today we're fighting with our Pistoliers, our range cavalry unit. Very good at what they do, a bit limited in, in numbers of ammunition, but overall a very solid unit. I really do like them, super fan. So 80 soldiers, 8 morale, 25 melee attack, 5 melee defense and 25 charge bonus for 6 armor. So as melee fight stats goes, they are a good cavalry unit in their own regard. These have 100 range with the pistols, 35 reload scope, 40 accuracy and 6 ammunition. Now, because they utilize the animation from Shogun 2 Fall of the Samurai, which is a couple centuries after this period, each unit of the pistoliers have two revolvers or two pistols, which in this time period you couldn't really have or fire one at a time, probably, mostly. So, even though they have six ammunition, it does mean that the whole unit has around three volleys, depending on how many of them die. But, nevertheless, very powerful unit, very incredibly good at breaking morale, if not killing them. So, today we are fighting against the Ottoman clan, the superior matchlock clan unit. As you can see by the cross, the Christian one, the first ones that met the Portuguese. And we're fighting against the Tokitakas Tanegashimas, with one, one of you also gave me the description and, and a little of backstory on them, which is pretty cool, the first ones to meet the Portuguese, and they called the, the matchlocks uh, Tanegashima, I think, or Tokitakas. So that's pretty dope. So thank you for sharing. I'm, I'm a history buff myself, I love history, so please keep all of those informations coming, as educating me is... a uh, joy to for me i guess you, if you guys want to tell me stuff history related please do or not like anything it's just good communication and community building is fantastic and i'm really enjoying that part of this hobby so there you have it the hero match luck unit from the ottoman clan 80 soldiers elite unit 15 morale 12 melee attack 8 melee defense 10 charge bonus and 8 armor very inc incredibly heavily armored so even if we need to charge we probably will happen um, they actually might hold their ground, but there you go, 300 range, 30 reload skill, 50 accuracy and 10 ammunition, with hold form, fire by rank, um, uh, fast reload, or like, not suppression fire, but like the one that really f uh, increases the, f the rapidness or the quickness of fire, and they encourage nearby units and resistance to morale shocks, as usual with hero units. So there you have it, our pistoliers will have to get really close. And that's going to be a detriment because they have three times our range, so they might just kill us before we reach them. But if we reach them with enough numbers, one volley might be enough to break them. But them being a hero unit really can actually be to our detriment. So let's see how that goes. That's cool, but I, I want to see them units falling. We're running because there's no other reason not to. And as usual, guys, with these matchups, the losing unit will be fully upgraded, and if it's a 1-1, there will be a third infinite fight. If it's a 2-0, the episode ends there, and the unit that won the both fights is crowned the winner, obviously. But there you go. We should be getting into range of their guns. There you have it. First volley. That was good for them. Oh no. Okay, we almost lost. We lost 20. Okay, we lost... Ooh, they're getting close to killing half of us before we even reach them. But that's the danger, that is the danger. They are reloading, they are heroes, so they can reload really quickly. But I believe we'll be able to release one volley before they do. There you go, one full volley, we kill 14, look at the morale drop, come on. But they will, we're very close, so they will fire against us before, there you have it. Will we break, because our unit's not upgraded and it's not a hero unit, so our morale, there you go, our morale betrayed us and we lost but we did get there and killed 14 of them oh my god they are obliterating us so there you have it guys oh this guy is like mid falling that's pretty cool um, our pistoliers were no match for the hero matchlock unit from the Otomokan. but uh let's see if fully upgraded they have a chance <laughs> so see you guys in a little bit hi all welcome to the second fight of this episode this time the pistoliers are fully upgraded after beating Oh, no, sorry, after being beaten by the Tokitakas Tanegashimas of the Otomo clan, uh, their extra range and their superior matchlock power that they had really 
uh, killed our cavalry unit and uh, we having a bigger mass with the horses also does not make or give us any favors. But there you have it. 16 morale now so we should stay for longer. 29 melee attack, 13 melee defense, 25 charge bonus and 6 armor. So if we wanted to charge them we could but I'd rather see uh, these matchups as purely as a range unit not necessarily as a cavalry versus range. But still 100 range. But now with 53 load scale and 558 accuracy, still with 6 ammunition. So we still have the same issue that we need to get close to them. But once we do, we should have, um, or we should release more volleys. They are still an unupgraded, as you guys can see from the stats on the screen. And uh, let's see if we, the pistoliers now can do a better job. They did, they, one volley, we killed 14 of them, and it almost broke. So if we managed to, and that would, was without uh, 50 soldiers. So if we manage at least two, without them being upgraded, we might win. But if they just kill too many of us before we get close to them, that's just how it's going to be. Because uh, the increased stats only increase morale, so we reach them anyway. It does not give us any more resistance to gunfire. We should be reaching the range of their unit. Don't stop. You still need. There you go. First volley, six loss. Second rank. Okay. Third rank. Same, around the same. They kill around the same. So let's see if we can release two volleys instead of one this time. Come on, get into range before they fire again. Okay. We killed a bit more than last time. Let's see who will fire first. God damn it, they fire first. But with our more increased morale, there you go, we fired a bit. Oh no. Come on, we're actually fighting. We're holding. Ah, we haven't. We killed almost 30 of them. But nevertheless, our pistoliers were no match for the gunpowder hero unit of the Ottoman clan. Uh, so there you have it guys, we did kill a good amount, but horses and uh, less range were not enough to defeat these hero matchlock units, which makes sense. But, uh, pistoliers, I really like the unit, but they not come on the top, look how many horses died before we even reached them. But there you have it guys, thank you very much for watching this 1v1, hope you all enjoyed, and see you guys next time.